An African American Education Museum is set to open at a new school or at a school rather that was used for black children before schools were integrated. Justin Lundy spoke with alumni who attended the school more than 60 years ago. He's live in Beaufort County with their stories of endurance. Justin. Uh, yes, Derek, this Saturday the public will be able to visit the P.S. Jones Museum of African American Education. And uh, before it was a museum, it was a high school for black students who um, were living during segregation. And now, 60 years later, it's being used as a beacon of hope and to also show how far black people have come here in the East. For integration, uh, any and everything that happened in the black community pretty much happened on this uh, school campus. A historic staple in Washington's black community is now turning into a museum. P.S. Jones High School, which was established in 1924 for black students from first grade through 12th grade, is finally getting the recognition it deserves. The museum curator, Alice Millsattler, attended the school in the 60s and says prominent black leaders nearly 100 years ago advocated for schools like this. These two men, Julius Rosenwald and Booker T. Washington, came to Washington in the early 1920s specifically to advocate for funding for schools for rural uh, areas in uh, Beaufort County. Raymond Lawrence graduated in 1967 and tells me his fondest memory was playing on the football team and winning a few championships. I played fullback in uh, 1967. Well, really, I had two, three years of it. In 1968, the school was forced to integrate under state law. A day Sattler remembers happened in her junior year of high school. My mom called and said, you've got to come home right now. You've got to come home. And I'm like, well, what in the world has happened? And I got home and she was telling me that I had been drafted to go to the white high school. Which was Washington High School. Sattler says a lot of memorabilia that belonged to P.S. Jones High School students were thrown away or misplaced as a result of integration. And now nearly five decades later, through funding from the community, she hopes the museum will keep history alive for future generations to know what black people fought for. As you can see on the board there, uh, it says elders tell the children for generations, black history has been told that way. You know, the elders tell the children about it. And this is where we started. And after getting a tour of the museum, I can confirm it's absolutely beautiful inside. And if you have any memorabilia from the high school that used to be right here, you're asked to drop off at this museum any day of the week, Monday through Friday. But for now, reporting live in Washington, Justin Lundy, WITN News. Derek? Certainly an interesting story there, Justin. Thank you. The ribbon cutting for the museum will take place on Saturday at noon right off North Pierce Street in Washington.